Call our uh, January 25th Jackson County Commission work session to order. Have a roll call. District 1, Mr. Miller. Present. Mr. Present. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Mr. Ledwell. Present. Chairman also present. And we do have a quorum present. I have our invocation by Mr. Porter and a pledge by Mr. Ledwell. Our God, our Sovereign Father, we're blessed to be here. Thank you so much for this weather that we have. We endured some bad weather and we're thankful for that. But thank you for the sunshine that we see today, the warmer weather. Thank you for the men that are gathered here to represent the people of Jackson County. We pray that you'll give them discernment and wisdom to make good decisions. And we are in the middle of a political uh, discussion in this uh, country. We pray that you'll be with all of us and we make good decisions about uh, those that we choose to lead us and those that we do choose to lead. God, we pray that they will look to you for wisdom and guidance in all the decisions that they make. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First time is approval of the minutes for December 28th and January 11th. Uh, should have received those previously. So this time we have any changes to those minutes? I have a motion to approve those minutes as presented. Make that motion. Motion, do we have a second? Second. And motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. say no. And I need to clarify that work session earlier. This is an actual meeting. Uh, or a meeting that we'll be voting on items. So, um, Next item of approval of the agenda. We have three items on the agenda this afternoon. Any changes before we proceed? Okay, do we have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Make a motion. Motion and a second. What's the motion? Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed say no. No one signed up to speak today. No old business. So first time of new business is motion to approve the updated HMT1 job description for public work. You have a copy of the changes made to that job description here. I think this covers any of the changes that were requested previously and discussed previously. Are there any other questions or comments about this before we proceed? Mr. Campbell, do you have anything? No, sir. Nothing that we haven't previously discussed. Okay, do we have a motion to approve the job description as presented? I'll make that motion. Motion, we have a second. Second. Okay, any discussion? Uh, I will say, um, I think we're working on uh, the uh, HMT2 and 3 positions, is that correct? Yes, sir. The 3 is actually where the vacancy lies, so we'll proceed with that uh, next. Okay, and we plan to advertise within for the HMT3 position, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and the job descriptions, we'll be working on those. To, uh, we've been working on those to get those uh, back to us in the future. After we've got these positions filled, we'll get the new position, those requirements set in place also, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So any other questions or comments? Okay, do we have a motion to approve? Uh, or we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Uh, as opposed, say no. Next item, motion to approve and sign authorizing a resolution for the Council on Aging. This was discussed in the previous work session. Um, for any further discussion, we have a motion to approve the resolution. Motion. Motion, we have a second. Second. Okay, any further discussion on this item? Again, this just allows our COA director to uh, um, work with the uh, federal requirements get the information necessary <coughs> to meet the federal requirements. Motion, and a second. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed, say no. A okay, final item motion to approve the hiring authority to recommendation for the vacant full time driver position. This is, we have a letter um, from the hiring group regarding uh, a, the full time driver. This is where we took the part time driver and the uh, uh, not temporary but fill in driver and combined it to make it the full time position there. Uh, the recommendation is 
for this first individual. If for any reason that individual is unable to serve, they have a secondary listed here, which they'd like to pursue. Uh, we keep them from having to come back uh, if there are any issues. And it's a pretty stringent re with the requirements for this position. That's why they have a secondary. Last time I think we had a hire and there were some issues so we had to go back to the process again. So um, again, this is a recommendation. Any discussion or questions? Will this alternate choice also be a sub? No, this will take this will take place of the sub uh, position. This full time position will serve as a sub and the various routes as well as have some uh, designated response. But can he, if we approve him as alternate, can we use him as a sub in case they're out or for whatever reason? Or we don't want to go back through this process. If need be, um, the way it was set up though is this full time was going to serve as that substitute and as the. Uh, the part time, so they would cover what the substitute basically needs to cover. So when someone's out, they are technically the sub, uh, as well as handling other duties. Do you remember how you put in for that job? I think we had six applicants. Good. Any other questions? We uh, attempted to interview all. I think one was unable to. Any other questions or comments? Okay, so we have a motion to accept the, uh, the recommendation. I move the motion. Motion, we have a second. Second. Any further discussion? Okay, motion and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, say no. Okay, that concludes the items on our agenda. So we'll move on to our report. Mr. Pitt. Uh, Mr. Campbell. Mr. Mr. Ames. Mr. Mr. No, sir, other than what I think all of us were talking about earlier, we appreciate Public Works and the role we play in this ice and snow. Thank you. Thank you for the comments. There was, I saw a lot of effort on men and women that, that I would consider above and beyond. Uh, there was 20 plus that worked Friday night before 5 a.m. Saturday morning, uh, 12 or more Saturday, and even some on Sunday. So I, it was a combined effort, men and women, and uh, I was very, very proud of that performance and saw a lot of good signs of, of effort and work and people dedicated to their job. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing that, and I'll pass, I'll pass the word on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. That concludes the items on our agenda. So uh, with that, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Thank you, motion. Motion.